The links for all of these programs that I'm recommending are all in the description, so make sure you click on those. Today I'm going to share with you five everyday apps that I absolutely cannot live without. Regardless of what you use your computer for, these are apps that not only make using your computer easier and simpler, but also help keep you safer. Coming in at number five is Super Copier. This program has absolutely changed the way I use my computer. When I'm doing computer repair for clients, I'm doing a ton of data copying, and this program is absolutely one of my favorite copy tools. There are other programs out there. Uh, TerraCopy is one, for example. I've used them all. I absolutely love this one, and I'm going to show you why. Now, Super Copier may or may not be a big deal to most people. If you don't transfer files on your computer, a lot this probably would not be a big deal for you but for me transferring hundreds of gigabytes of files sometimes at one time does make a huge difference for me okay so I have a folder of items that I'm gonna copy and this is the normal Windows copy mode right here now as you can see it does give you some detailed information and it does give you this neat little fancy graph but the reality is it doesn't give you any control over how you transfer these files now the question is is that important well in my case say for example I'm transferring files over and I need to clear space off of a drive I need to move the biggest files first in order to make as much space available on that other drive so with the Windows copier as you see here it just copies everything and it doesn't give you any ability to make that change it copies the files in the order that it chooses to and you're stuck with however long it takes to transfer those files now again for most people this may or may not be a big deal if you're trying to clear space off of a portable hard drive for example and you need room to put other data on that drive this is not going to work for you this could take an absolute lifetime to transfer over and it's such a pain in the tail so I'm gonna show you a program that does this so much better and gives you a lot more flexibility and it's 100% free this is the program right here super copier and the version I use is actually this older version 2.20.650 I'll put the link directly to this page in the description you can click on this green button here to download and install it it's 100% safe and it's absolutely amazing so as you can see here when super copier is running it just sits here in your taskbar minds its business and just works I'm gonna show you what happens when you copy with super copier you notice it's a completely different menu that comes up now just like the Windows copier it's gonna go through and it's going to collect all the data as you can see about 210 gigabytes here but I'm gonna pause it for a second and show you this neat little feature if you click unfold now you can choose by clicking on the destination if you want to copy a specific folder first or if you want to choose by size like in this case I want to choose the smallest files first or I click it again and now I can choose the biggest files first and clear off that space quicker it's just an amazing program so in this example I'm gonna choose by source directory first and click resume and as you can see here it says about eight minutes but if I pause it and choose the largest files first the time frame is gonna be about the same and it shows about three minutes now but it will go up higher as the files get transferred but it is transferring the largest files first and getting rid of that space on the source drive therefore making me spend less time waiting around to move files off of a drive so I've got room again one of my favorite little programs absolutely love this and here's another little feature that you can use say I've got all these files I want to transfer but some of them are probably more important than others so what I can do is I can just click one folder drag it and get started on that and that's the one that has all the largest files in it so that one's gonna take a while I can select and drag some of the other folders aren't as large and I can do them separately and as you can see you can have multiple windows open you can pause the individual windows so I want them all to copy but I want the important ones first so as you can see here it's paused these other two because this is the largest one I want this to get off the source drive first so I can have room on it again one of my favorite little programs absolutely love it been using it for years it's 100% safe and it's one of the first programs I install on every computer I touch and I use it daily you'll love it Coming in at number four is Open Office. Now, many of you are familiar with Microsoft Office. If you've ever had Microsoft Office, you've probably gotten used to it, but you have to pay for it. And Microsoft will no doubt charge you for that program. And what most people aren't telling you is that you can use Open Office for free and do 
98% of everything you need to do in Microsoft Office, you can do it in Open Office for free. For example, if you want to create a text document, open the program called Writer. When you save it, you can configure Open Office, as you can see right here, to be in a dot .doc format so that you could turn around and send that document to someone else who has Microsoft Office and they cannot tell the difference. Same thing with the spreadsheet. It looks just like Microsoft Excel. You have all your formatting options here. I run three businesses off of Open Office's calc which is the free version of Microsoft Excel and you can configure the calc program to save spreadsheets as XLS spreadsheets and you can send them to someone who uses Microsoft Excel and they cannot tell the difference also you have a presentation which is if anybody's ever seen one of these at work looks just like PowerPoint the same exact thing all the functionality works the same exact way you can save these as Microsoft PowerPoint presentations and send them to someone who uses Microsoft PowerPoint they cannot tell the difference now a lot of times what you'll have and I've had this happen before where a client will tell me their professor at college says they have to have Microsoft Office and I stop them right there and I say no what they're actually saying is you need to have a program that can create Microsoft Office office documents and spreadsheets that the professor can open this program absolutely does that like I said I've created documents and spreadsheets for years with this program and it is absolutely wonderful the only thing that this program does not do that Microsoft Office does is it has a program called Microsoft Outlook now that is to download and check your email if you do not need a mail program to download your mail then you can use open office 100 free what i would recommend is that you download it and try it before you go buy microsoft office and see if it works for you if it works for you and it does everything you need it to do why spend the money for microsoft office this one's free and it works just as good but again remember if you need a program to download email you can't get that with open office but stay tuned because number three is going to help you out with that as well so if you want open office you just go to www.openoffice.org click right here i want to download apache open office download it and install it just like you would any other program and start creating documents and spreadsheets super awesome Coming in at number three on my top five everyday apps I cannot live without is this program right here. It's called Thunderbird. And if you like the idea of using Open Office, which was number four for documents and spreadsheets and need a program to check your mail, this program is amazing. I love it. It's got super easy integration. If you have a Gmail account, when you type in your information to configure it, it literally pops up a Gmail window. You type in your username, your password, and boom, it does all the rest. It works just like other mail programs like Outlook or Outlook Express or any of those other ones that you've ever used. And it just works amazing. All the features, all the functionality. You have an event calendar here that you can use to create events. And if you have Gmail on your phone or your PC, it of course synchronizes everything. You also have an address book, taskbar. It's just amazing. One of my favorite programs, 100% free. And it's made by the same people that make Firefox. I've used this program for years. It's the only program I will use to check my mail. As you can see here, I've got it installed. When you open Thunderbird, you just double click it. Now in this case, I use it to check Gmail. I don't wanna have to go to my web browser and go to Gmail and do all that. Now, I currently don't have it configured because I literally just upgraded my machine, but that's how important this program is, is I already have it installed even though I don't have it configured. All you literally have to do is click File, New, existing mail account and I will just configure one of my email addresses here and I'll show you exactly how it works this is how quickly it can configure a mail account now this is the email that I use for my local computer business here in Memphis and boom look at that just like that there is all my mail all my folders everything synchronized with Gmail in 15 20 seconds however long that took this program is amazing. I absolutely love it. I've been using it for years. I definitely, definitely recommend it. And you can get to that program going to www.thunderbird.net and the link will be down in the description for you. 
The next program I'm going to recommend is this one. It's called Malwarebytes. This program is number two on my list of must-have everyday apps for your computer. This program is amazing. It scans in real time for malware which is probably 98 percent of all the crap that's out there on the internet now and if you want something that's actually going to stop or block something from getting on your computer this is the program to have now there's two different versions of the program one is free one is not now you can get away with using the free version you can download it and use it until the end of time but the problem is is it does not automatically update itself and it doesn't automatically scan However, if you download the free version and occasionally can remember to update it, and then when you think something's on your computer, go ahead and run a Malwarebytes scan, it will find things on your computer that potentially could keep you from having to call the computer guy. Which, granted, yes, I'm shooting myself in the foot by telling you this. It's totally free, and you can absolutely download it today. Now, they do have a pro version if you have one computer. You can pay $3.33 a month. Many of you are paying way more than that for your antivirus program that isn't even doing its job. This program right here could crush any other antivirus program if you had the real-time version. With this option, five devices, it'll be about 72 bucks a year. Again, about what Norton charges you for inferior protection, in my opinion. Or if you only have one computer, you can get away with this plan at $3 a month. So it's about 36 to four. $38 a year and it's absolutely going to crush any malware that gets on your computer. Think about this. How much does it cost for a computer guy to show up at your house one time and remove malware off your computer? I'm going to guess at least $75 to $100 for one visit. If you had this program, your, your computer is going to detect and remove the malware as it tries to download on your computer and boom, right there, you just saved yourself a visit from the computer guy. Not to mention, if it protects your computer, it's protecting your data. Think about that for a second. Absolutely one of the best programs ever designed in the history of ever, Malwarebytes. And you can go to www.malwarebytes.org or .com. They'll take you to the same website, okay? Highly recommend this program. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> So that brings us to number one, best, most amazing, most important, most necessary, number one everyday app I cannot live without under any circumstances whatsoever. It is Avast Antivirus. This program is amazing. Now, I'm going to make another video about this on why you should use Avast instead of other programs like Norton or McAfee, Trend Micro, Panda, etc. This program is amazing it is 100 percent free forever until the end of time you will never have to pay for it it is amazing and the free version protects your computer in ways you just cannot even imagine as you can see here 435 million people have used this program and it is amazing you can get it from www.avast.com avast.com click here to download it and install it and I'm gonna tell you what, it is amazing. One of the things I love about this program, it absolutely, it automatically updates itself, it automatically applies those updates, and it scans in real time instead of doing a complete computer scan. Avast is running all the time in the background, scanning little bits at a time, and it just is amazing to keep your computer clean. I have installed Avast on machines that had Norton and McAfee on it, and the people were like, I love my Norton, I love my McAfee, and I don't know why, I don't have any viruses, I'll put Avast on it, I'll run a scan, and boom, it finds virus after virus after virus. The reason is because Avast is proactive versus Norton or McAfee that is reactive. Now you're asking, well, what exactly does that mean? Very simply put, other programs, and again, I'm not dumping on Norton or McAfee or any of these other programs, I'm telling you what my personal favorite is and why. I've been doing this for 30 years, and I've used them all, and this by far is the best and it's totally free. Proactive scanning means as you do stuff, whether it's go to a particular website or download a file or check an email or look at an attachment, Avast scans that stuff in real time and doesn't make you sit and wait. It just scans it. It knows what is bad and what is not. It is proactive. And if it comes across something bad, it's gonna say, er, wait a minute, dude, you don't want that. And it will literally stop you and say, this is 
potentially bad, do you want to continue? Like if you go to the wrong website, it will literally tell you, I'm not going any further until you tell me you know what you're doing. And if you say, let's go anyway, it lets you right past it. If you say, nope, get me out of here, it takes you right back to your homepage. If you know what you're doing, you say, go ahead and continue. And it continues right on to that page that you wanted to go to. If you realize that you ended up on a bad page, if you were looking at medicine on Google and you went to some page that ended up having malware on it, this thing would stop you right in your tracks and say, this page has been reported as bad. It's unsafe. Do you want to continue? And you just say, no, get me out of here. And it takes you right back to your homepage. No harm done. Other programs will let you go to any page you want to. And if you happen to pick up malware or a virus, it's going to get on your computer. And now it will tell you later that you've been infected. It may tell you that you've been infected and it's cleaned it. But I personally would rather it be stopped in its tracks before it gets on my computer instead of after it's gotten on my computer and done God only knows what to my PC. Avast is amazing. Now, a couple things you're gonna wanna know. First of all, it's a free program. So here's what you're gonna wanna do after you install Avast. Because it is a free program, it's going to try to sell you all kinds of stuff. So for example, you can go into the app and it's gonna have all these extra stuff. Firewall apps, sandbox, a ransomware shield. It's gonna have password protection. All these are, you know, VPN, VPN, which is important for sure, absolutely. A webcam shield, anti-tracking, all, all this other stuff. It's all add-on programs, driver updaters, cleanup, and so on and so forth. You don't need any of that. You don't need any of that. Like even down here, 22 programs are slowing your PC, and I could click here. It would try to sell me something. But I use the free version, and I have used the free version for years without a problem. And sometimes I come across websites or I come across files on a client computer that are heavily infected and I have never ever been infected from a client machine or from surfing the web as long as I had Avast free installed. So what you're going to want to do is once you install it, go down here to this orange icon, right click on it and choose silent mode right here. What that's going to do is it's going to limit the number of pop-ups that happen trying to sell you stuff. Okay. Now, is it going to get rid of all of them? No. But what it will do is it will limit the number of them that pop up to maybe a couple every now and then instead of once daily or 10 times a day or whatever. Definitely select this option and it is 100% free. And again, it automatically updates itself, but you can manually update it anytime you want. You can actually disable the virus shields very simply. You just right click on the icon, go to the shields control and just select disable for 10 minutes, one hour, until the computer is restarted, or permanently. Now, generally the only time you want to do that is if you are messing with a file that you know is potentially has malware, and the folks out there who know what I'm talking about already know this. So you will never probably need to use this as a normal computer user. All of these shields stay on by default, okay? But this program is absolutely amazing. This is the very first thing I put on every single client I have ever touched since I started using this program. I won't even surf a web page without Avast installed. That's how good it is. And that is why it gets number one on my list. So if this list helped you, if you found any of these things interesting or helpful, make sure you click on that like button. If you enjoy my content or you like hearing new stuff like this, make sure you click on that subscribe button. Click that notification bell and you'll get notified every time I release new videos just like this to make your life a little easier. So with that said, thanks for watching. Have a great day.